Hey and welcome, I will show you how you can compile a C++ library to a Python module, import it into your Python program and use it. I will also show you how you can embed a Python interpreter inside your C++ application and use it as a Python scripting solution. I will cover the following things. First, we will go through the setup process. We will download PyBind 11 and we will set up a project structure using CMake. Then we will compile a C++ library to a Python module and I will show you how you can import it into your Python programs. Next, I'm going to talk about how we can use Python as a scripting language inside our application. And in the end, I will show you how you can configure Visual Studio so that you can debug your C++ and Python code in a mixed language debugger. Let's start with the setup. First, we have to download PyBind 11. We can get it from GitHub. We will go to the releases and we will download the latest release, which is 2.5. I will extract it here and I will create a folder called externals. I will move PyBind 11 into this folder. I will create another one called source and inside of source, I will create two more folders, one for the application and one for the module. Let us create a compilable C++ file. So we will call this app.cpp and we will add a main function so that we can compile it. We will copy this file to the module folder and name it module. Next, we will create our CMake lists file. I have already prepared something, so I will just paste it here. So first we will set the minimum required CMake version, we will set the project name and we will set the C++ standard. Next, we define some paths to the directories with the source code. So we have app source, module source and externals. Now we can add PyBind 11 as a subdirectory, which will enable us to use some macros they defined in their CMake lists file. We will use the pybind11 add module macro. We give it a name and we give it the source files it needs to compile. So in our case, it is just the module.cpp. We will set the include directories for it. And now we can proceed to add the app. So for that, we can just use the regular add executable. We give it a name, we give it the source files. We add the include directories. In this case, we will add the app source and the module source as the include files. And we want to embed the Python interpreter inside our app. And for this, we can do the following. We can link libraries to our app and we use the embed library, which is contained in the PyBind 11 library. And now that we have this out of the way, I will create one more folder. I will call it VS Studio and I will put this batch file inside there. So what this does is it runs CMake one directory above and it configures the generator to be for Visual Studio 15. Now I can just double click this and it will generate the project files for me. This is done now. We can open up the solution file. For this, we can use any IDE we would like. All right, so after loading up, we see on the left here that we have two projects. One is called PyBind 11 app and one is called PyBind 11 module and we will just compile all of them and conclude this part of this video.